how to use Google Voice. Welcome to today's tutorial where we're diving deep into how you're going to be able to use Google Voice. Now, Google Voice is a powerful communication tool that gives you a free virtual phone number to call, text and voicemail from anywhere using your phone or computer. So let's walk through how to set it up, navigate the interface and use its features and also get the most out of it. So to get started, you're gonna need a Google account. So if you don't already have one, go to google.com and sign up. Once logged in, you're gonna go ahead and search up voice.google.com as we are over here. And this is the homepage for all things related to Google Voice. The first time you're gonna open it, it's gonna give you something like this. So I'm gonna go ahead with for personal use and let's go with web. Now, once you have done that, what it does is it loads us over here. Now, in the case it says Google Voice is not supported in your country, don't worry. What you can simply do is you can use a VPN for yourself to go ahead and get yourself started. Now, preferably, I would say go ahead and use the VPN for any European country or the uh, American countries. So once we're here, simply go ahead and uh, load it up. Once it is loaded up, what you're going to do from here is you are simply going to go right over to the account that is compatible. Now, once all of this is done, you're going to come straight over to this page. And obviously it's going to give you this type of dashboard, which is, you know, basically going to get you up and running. Now to get a number, it's going to give you a prompt where you're going to get a number and then enter your city or area code. Google voice will give you a list of available numbers to choose from. You can scroll through and pick a number you like, or one that's easy to remember. Now, this is where you're going to go ahead and enter your real mobile number. Google will send you a verification code via SMS. Go ahead, enter the code verify and your voice number is ready. Now let's break down the interface. On the left hand side of the screen, you're going to see a menu with options like calls, messages, voicemail and settings. Now this layout is very similar whether you're using Google Voice on a desktop or a mobile app, which is both available on both Androids and iOS. You can download the app from Google Play Store or Apple App Store by simply searching for Google Voice. Now let's explore the calling feature first. So on desktop, what you're going to do over here is you're basically going to come over to calls. And once you come over to calls, this here, the call option, you're simply going to click on that. You're going to see a dial pad where you can enter any number. Go ahead, click this green phone icon to start the call. And if you've linked your number properly, the call will be routed through your device as if you were making a regular phone call, but from your Google voice number. The person on the other end will see the Google voice number, not your real mobile number, which is great for privacy or business purposes. So let's talk about text messaging, just like with a real phone. So same, you're going to come over to message and over here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on send a new message and it's going to start a new conversation. So just enter contact or phone number, type your message and hit send. You will see replies come in like a normal chat thread. And if you're using the mobile app, you will also receive notifications just like any other messaging app. Now, one of the strongest features of Google Voice is going to be in its voicemail system. When someone calls your Google Voice number and you don't pick up, they will be redirected to voicemail. Now, you can customize your voicemail greetings by going to settings. So you're going to come over to settings. You're going to go over to voicemail. And once we're here, you can go ahead and add in whatever option you want. Now that's going to depend on you. Now you can adjust how you are going to want to, you know, get a greeting. So you can record a greeting, speak clearly into your microphone and save the message. And when someone leaves a voicemail, Google voice will not only store the audio, but also transcribe the message into text using AI. You can read the message or listen to it by going to the voice hub now let's go into the settings again and you know click on the gear icon here you'll find a variety of useful features for yourself you can go ahead and change the linked number from right over here so go ahead and add any link number for yourself then moving on you can turn call forwarding on or off you can adjust how you want to port your calls and you can also set 
D and D, which is do not disturb hours. So basically, if there is a set specific time that you don't want to receive calls, you can simply set that for yourself as well. Now, this is super useful if you want a healthy work life balance or some uninterrupted focus time. Now, the best thing about Google Voice is that it also integrates with other Google services like Gmail or Calendar that you can go ahead and appropriately use over here. If someone leaves you a voicemail or texts you, you can get notifications via email. You can enable this by going into settings or voicemail email notifications and entering your preferred email address. Next, let's also talk about call forwarding and multiple devices. With Google Voice, you can set up forwarding to so that when someone calls your Google Voice number, it rings on your mobile, your work phone, or even your tablet. So for that, again, you can come over to settings and just click on new link number and add another device. This is especially helpful for freelancers or entrepreneurs who want to make sure they never miss a call from their client regardless of where they are. Another cool feature is spam filtering. So what you can do is you can basically go over to security and you can filter the spam calls for yourself, which turns on enhanced protection. This keeps telemarketers and robocalls at bay. Now also, let's move into some advanced tips for Google Voice effectively. Firstly, you can set custom voicemail greetings for different groups, as I told you. So for instance, you could have a professional greeting for work contact and a casual one for friends. You can do this by creating contact groups in Google Contacts and assigning a custom greeting to each group in the voicemail settings. Another pro tip, if you travel internationally, Google Voice also allows Wi-Fi calling, so you can make and receive calls with incurring morning charges. All you need is a stable internet connection. It's an incredibly budget-friendly way to stay connected while abroad. And finally, you can also use Google Voice on your browser's tab, meaning you don't need a physical phone to make or receive calls, just your computer and a headset. This is an absolute game changer for remote teams or digital nomads who want to manage communications efficiently. Now, let's quickly summarize everything before we wrap up. We've learned how to create a Google Voice number, how to call, text, and use voicemail. We explored voicemail transcriptions and call forwarding, spam filtering, and custom greetings. Plus, we've also looked on how to use it across devices and integrate it into your broader Google ecosystem. So whether you're a small business owner trying to keep client calls professional, a student wanting a secondary number, or a remote worker trying to manage calls from different countries, Google Voice is a must-have tool in 2025. So that is pretty much all there is for this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the foreseeable future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. And also do make sure to share this video around with your friends and family or anyone in need of this video because that truly helps me out. And also do let me know if you have other ideas for videos, you know, maybe related to this topic, maybe related to some other topic, other CRMs, other softwares, etc. Do let me know down in the comments below and I will definitely make them for you. So yeah, that is pretty much all there is. Again, drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, share this video around, and I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.